Who hit whom first? Sound familiar? Conflicting driver statements, no independent witnesses? Sound even more familiar? Wouldn't it be nice to have an overhead video of the accident to answer that question? You'll likely never have that video, but technology exists to answer that very question and more. That technology is EDR data. EDR, Event Data Recorder. EDR is a function that exists primarily within airbag control modules installed in motor vehicles to record technical vehicle and occupant information for a brief period of time before, during, and after a crash. So how do you get this data? And how can you use it to answer the question? EDR data is obtained using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. EDR data can be accessed and imaged through the vehicle's DLC port or by connecting directly to the airbag control module. It should be noted that the CDR tool does not and cannot alter, erase, or manipulate the data in any way. It simply images or copies the data from the EDR and generates a report containing the data. Let's take a closer look at this accident or claim. Assume your insured is the gray vehicle second in line in this three car accident. The driver of the white car stated they were stopped for a red traffic light and was suddenly hit from behind by your insured. Your insured stated they came to a stop behind the white car. Moments later, the yellow car hit them from behind and pushed them into the car in front of them. The driver of the yellow car stated they were driving behind your insured at about 20 miles per hour. They said your insured ran into the back of the white car so suddenly that they had no time to react and as a result, ran into the back of your insured. There are no witnesses, and the driver's statements are in complete conflict. Is this looking like a shared liability claim to you? Let's watch what really happened. As you can see, your insured came to a complete stop behind the white car with no incident. The yellow car comes in from behind, hits your insured, and pushes your insured into the back of the white car. You don't have this video, but with the Bosch CDR tool, your claims investigator can image the EDR data from your insured's vehicle. Two separate events or impacts were retrieved and are contained in the CDR report. This is consistent with what we know about the accident. The data page for the first impact indicates your insured had been stopped with the brakes applied before being hit. At impact, your insured's vehicle experienced a positive or forward acceleration of approximately 10 miles per hour, indicating it was struck from behind. The data page for the second impact shows your insured's vehicle abruptly went from 0 to 8 miles per hour from being pushed forward by the yellow car. It then experienced a sudden deceleration of approximately 7 miles per hour, which was the result of it hitting the back of the white car. Comparing the EDR data contained in the CDR report with the known details of the accident clearly indicates that your insured had come to a complete stop, was struck from behind, and was propelled into the car in front of it. So what did EDR data do for your claim settlement? Without the EDR data, you likely would have paid for your insured's property loss and bodily injury and 50% of the white car's property loss and bodily injury. With the EDR data, you were able to absolve yourself of liability and subrogate it to the true at-fault party. With EDR data retrieved with the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool, we were able to objectively answer the question of who hit whom first. EDR data can also be used to answer questions involving hit while unattended claims, driver and occupant seatbelt usage, presence of passengers, vehicle speed, steering and braking input, crash severity and potential for injury, and more. The Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. Are you using it? For more information on the Bosch CDR tool and the entire CDR product line, visit CrashDataGroup.com.